Good morning guys and welcome to one of the most unexplored and unknown countries in the entire world. Not many people come here and we're going to find out why. Welcome to Kyrgyzstan. Let's go. Listen, I should probably warn you now. We've agreed to pick up a mate. It's about time you finally meet him. Who is it? You'll see. He's down the road. Right, okay. Here he is. Right, can't indicate here. Let's pick him up. Oh ha! Hello, mate. Hey, welcome to Kyrgyzstan. Do you want me to uh, show you around lovely Kyrgyzstan? Please do, mate. I know nothing of the country. Well, there's a place a few miles from here. It's the Riviera of Central Asia. Shall we go? I'm keen. Kat, you ready? Yeah. English Riviera. No, Kyrgyzstan Riviera. Katerina? Yeah. Hey. Mr. Bold. Whoa, Katerina. the legend himself. Oh, thank you. The legend. <laughs> nice to meet you, Kat. Are you ready for a little Soviet adventure here in Kyrgyzstan? Yeah, I know nothing about Soviet things. Shall we begin the journey? Let's do it, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Welcome to Kyrgyzstan. I just found out a very interesting fact about Mr. Bold. As we drive along these mountains, he's been telling me about his stories along these Kyrgyzstan mountains. And apparently, a few years ago, he was in this city when he celebrated getting one million subscribers. And in that video, he filmed something in this building right behind us. You might have remembered it, but let's recreate it. Let's go in and tell you all about it. You ready, mate? Shall I meet you inside? Let me show you a little bit of Baldwin Bankrupt's history. Hello, guys. We're doing a little video. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Privyat. He's saying this is an abandoned building, but you don't know how famous this building is around the world. <laughs> because I once came here yeah. and found one of your countrymen taking a dump. That's Can you pull me up, please? No, he's giving, me a, he's giving us a tour of the famous Cheers, sheet mate. building. No, no, no. Like the sheet, sure, so this is it. This is history right here. And there's the toilet. That's where the man was. Yeah, there was a man squatting, taking a dump. It might have been him, I don't know. Oh my god, the smell in here. Yeah, nasty. Ah, so before it was a cafe. I never knew that. Ah. Oh, you didn't get this on Mr. Bold's channel. He just seen a man taking a shit and he left. I'm getting the full experience. Okay. Right. Well, there you go. That is uh, the top floor. What? No, no. I'm Ah, the lift. The lift would come up here. Liftable. Ah, I see. There you go. So I think he's saying that was the elevator that would come up to the top. Then he's got more rooms, look. Man, I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. It's pretty intense. I wish I understood. I wish I understood. Okay? Bye bye. There you go. That man got four quid for about five dollars for a little tour of this iconic building which Mr. Bold did a video here all those years ago. Huh? You're joking. Ah, Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Oh, what's going on? No? It's coming up. Okay. Okay. Mate, let's get out of here quick. Jesus. Well, mate, you just seen YouTube history, mate. I know. What an this absolute honour. The day when I reached four, a, a million subscribers, I was in that building discovering a man taking a dump. And then, luckily, I thought we were going to get arrested then. Jesus, for trespassing or something. But it's all okay. They're just curious why the hell is there two foreigners walking around that abandoned dump? Anyway, there it is. History of Mr. Bold channel, right there. You just missed Kyrgyzstan's worst building. You're lucky. What, what, what is it? Basically, a sh**. Well, Start a car. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Now, I'll be honest, guys, don't expect many interactions in these upcoming videos. I'm getting like Mongolia vibes. There's not a lot of English here. 
but they do speak Russian, so Mr. Bold is gonna save the trip, pretty much. So let's get a drink first of all. Apparently there's a drink here that he recommends, and we'll begin the journey. This is the drink that you have in Kyrgyzstan. Shoro, you see it everywhere with that guy with a flying helmet on. Right. It's not horse milk, is it? You've got, do you want some bozo? Do you want bozo flavour? Bozo? You've got bozo flavour. Yeah. You've got Maxim, or you've got Sharma. I think bozo is the best one. What flavour is that? Cherry? Yeah, yeah. What do you want, Kat? I don't even know. I think there's <laughs> enough Let's get this one. You on that one. Let's get this one. It's time to try some bozo here in Kyrgyzstan. My first drink. Oh, sizzles. Cheers. Oh, oh Jesus! Hey, drink the bozo. Drink the bozo. That's how you drink it. That is horrendous, mate. I know. It tastes like sour milk. Yeah, it's nasty stuff. I've never drink it. Try it. it. Man, that's horrible. <laughs> oh my god. Try that lovely stuff. Look at my hands. Basically, it tastes like curd lies gone off horse milk. Enjoy. Get down, you cat. There you go. Get a big gulp. Like it? No. Oh, Minging, isn't it? Disgusting. Right, get this in the bin. Yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've stopped for the 87th time in under an hour because Mr. Bold has spotted an old Soviet sign. Look at him. In his element, taking another photo. But I don't blame him. Look at this and look at the view. Snow-capped mountains, these lovely green hills, some abandoned buildings. This place is incredible. Cat, I'm really enjoying the fresh air after India. I've still got a chest infection. Same, I think my lungs are just getting healthier. Yeah, feels great. We're about an hour and a half away from our final destination where we will be spending the night at the lake. But yeah, so far, this drive is Incredible, beautiful. Right then, before we continue this journey to the Kyrgyzstan Riviera, we need to go back to Dubai for a couple minutes and tell you about something me and cats use all the time on our travels. See you in Dubai. Oh, budge up, cat. Okay. What are you doing? I'm watching a series. A series? Yeah. Netflix series? Yeah, of course. How are you doing that? We've left the UK. Well, but we have a VPN, don't we? Oh, of course. We've got NordVPN. Yeah, so I can actually watch my series wherever we are in the world. That's right. Guys, listen. One of the main questions we get asked all the time is, what do you do in your spare time when you're not travelling around and whatnot? Well, just like everyone else, we sit down, watch a movie, Cat watches their series, I watch sports, and you just do normal things. And that's why we use a VPN. But not just any VPN, we use NordVPN. So let me show you how it works. So guys, as you can see, we're on Netflix and it's not working because we're not in the UK. It clearly states your advert support plan is not available in this region. But not to worry, NordVPN to the rescue. Let's head down to NordVPN now and sort this issue out. And there we go. So guys, as you can see, there are countless countries to choose from, but the country that we need is the United Kingdom. So let's click on the UK, let it connect, and just like that, in a couple seconds, we are connected to the UK. Now, let's go back to Netflix and see if it works. Refresh, and there we go. Just like that, we're back in the UK, and Kat can enjoy... My series, finally. Hey. <laughs> Remember, NordVPN is not all about watching sports and my shows is about to protect us in an online world. Correct. NordVPN keeps you safe online. It keeps you protected. It keeps you protected against malware, phishing emails, scammers, spam emails. You name it, NordVPN has your back. So guys, when you sign up to NordVPN, use the code name BACKPACKERVPN to get four months extra on your two-year plan. You can also get 30 days money back, guarantee with no risk. Click the link in the description and in the pinned comments below to begin using NordVPN. Why are we stopping for the 15th time in about 10 minutes? Mate, have a look what's in front of you. It's a flipping Soviet mosaic. Look at it. It's in good condition, look. Touch it, come touch it. I'll have a stroke. Have a little stroke. 
and the mosaic. It's fair, that feels good. <laughs> Can't lie. <laughs> feels nice. Cat, come have a stroke. Cat. It's chewing gum, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Can you not say nasty things about the same thing? <laughs> this is art. A man from this village, an artist, came many years ago, maybe 50 years ago, and created this on the side of a building. He didn't need to do it, but he was like, let's brighten up the village. This is really becoming a Paul and Bankrupt video. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to film this trip, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I look, though, but it's here. This is art. What do we do in England? Do we have this in England? No. You're oh, mate, this in England would be covered in piss. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, you absolute state. History. This is the old village shop. It's got mosaic on it. Mate, this is going to be the greatest trip ever on the communist road of Kyrgyzstan. You know what? I'm going in for another stroke. <laughs> she went over. Sorry. Sabietsky. Privet. Sabietsky, da. Very nice. Thank you very much. And what about Anglia. Anglia. And Portugal. Let's go to the tea. Let's go to the tea. Come on, we're going to go and drink tea with you. Really? On the other side, you saw it, right? Yes, I saw it on the other side. Let's go. Oh, wow, there you go. Because it's Eid, here, well, around the world as well, this man's invited us in to celebrate the end of Ramadan, I believe. And he's invited us in for a cup of tea. Here, in his village, look at this. Wow. We've all got the same shoes on. Different things. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, Wow, beautiful home. Oh, wow, look at this. Ooh. We've got the whole setup here oh, for Eid. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, okay, okay. Because um, Ramadan, Ramadan, Zakri. Ramadan, so the... Ramadan is finished. Mm -hmm. So now they like, they invite people from the village, their house and stuff like that to drink tea and to try all these lovely, delicious things. This wow. is Kyrgyz culture. Well, there you go. That is Kyrgyzstani hospitality where else in the world would you be stood on the side of the road taking a photo of a mosaic and all of a sudden you're inside their home with their family celebrating eid that's top hospitality i'm starting to see why mate you go to these countries people course, are awesome mate. told you great first impression here in kyrgyzstan the people are awesome beautiful country i hope my camera can pick it up but look at the mountains in the distance it's incredible beautiful look isn't it the mountains, people. look at that Anyway, let's get back into the car and head to the lake. There's a rainbow. That's beautiful. Guys, I think Mr. Bold's got me hooked on Soviet stuff. It's finally happened. Kat, I want to rub another mosaic. Please find one. Shall we do that? Yeah, let's find one. Do you know any more mosaics around here, mate? Mate, this is how the addiction starts. One rub leads to another rub, leads to many rubs. I know a nice mosaic up this road. Come on, let's get it. Get it. Whoa, this Whoa. Oh my God, beat. this is Kyrgyzstan roads. Awesome. People just pull out. Well done, Kat, good beep. Yeah, I really well, like that, that one. one. Yeah. Good, good beep skills, Kat. <laughs> We've been pulled over by the Kyrgyzstan police. He claims we've been speeding. We haven't been. We've been driving a normal pace. But he claims he's caught us going like 15 miles an hour over the speed limit on these mountains. <sighs> he's told me to stay in the car. He shouted at me and said, stay in the car, in Russian. Bold translated. And now Kat and Bold are with the policeman behind me. There they are, look, speaking to the police. They're showing evidence of what's happened. Let's see what happens. I kind of understand why like, he's so. The, the other guy, I think, they're trying to pay, but I would say, I know. They said, like, American tourists, tourists, no problem. Lady, and I said, yeah, they got like my permit and my driving license, so I was like, I wasn't speaking. And I know I wasn't. So what's Bold doing? He's in the car with the guy, talking with him. Because he said, tell me to come here, and well, he's talking to him, so I don't know what he's saying. It's the crack. What's, what's the crack, crack mate? Does that to pay a little bribe? How much? How much? You must speak Russian. Came down from two hundred dollars to ten pounds. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Come on. You serious? Yeah. So you wanted two hundred dollars. We got down to ten quid. Yeah, that's the minimum fine. So is this kilometers or miles? Uh, I'm gonna go for the. We weren't speeding, were we? I don't. I didn't see the. I was asleep. Nah, cat was fine. I don't think I was. There you go. Bribing our way through Kyrgyzstan. Thank God Mr. Bolt's here, otherwise it could have been $200. Let's carry on. Thank you. 
Oh, Next right. After a few hours on the mountain roads, we finally arrived at the Riviera of Kyrgyzstan, the town of Cholpan Apta. Cholpan Apta. Cholpan Apta. Supposedly where all the locals of Kyrgyzstan come for the holidays. There's about four hotels in the town and I booked the cheapest one, it was like 40 quid for two rooms. So it's up here on the right cat, get ready. <laughs> this is a holiday resort? <laughs> it's like Jaywick. <laughs> well done cat. Way, well done. I think this is it. This is our hotel for the night here in Kyrgyzstan. Here we go, our shoes off. This lady hasn't asked us who we are, we're just being led up to the uh, room. Here. Well, this is it, this lady's led us up to the rooms. This is Mr. Bowl's room, look, here in Chop Knock. Mine and Kat's room is in here. Kat, are you ready to give a grand tour? Yeah, come on. Ooh, I like it. It's two curtains. Two curtains? <laughs> toilet. For the toilet, oh, nice. Well, there you go, 48 quid for two rooms here in Kyrgyzstan's Riviera. Not bad, huh? Decent little room. Decent little adventure so far here in Kyrgyzstan. Now the main reason we come here was to see the so-called Lake Issacal, which is like the main touristy resort area where all the locals come for a little holiday. Let's get our bags unpacked and head down to the lake. Let's do it. And this is it, welcome to Lake Issacal here in Kyrgyzstan, the holiday haven for the locals here of the country. It's a bit run down, I'll be honest. Um, it's a bit ropey, but it's all right. I can imagine in summer, it's a lot better. This beach would be packed, but it's winter at the moment, so it's absolutely bloody freezing. So I won't be going for a swim. There you go. Oh, do you want to play? <laughs> It's the next morning here at the Kyrgyzstan Riviera and do you know what? I've woke up to realise I've been pranked by Mr. Bold. He's brought me to the so-called Riviera and it's the Jaywick of Central Asia. It's run down, there's nothing to do. Last night we just walked the streets and then went to bed. And it's, yeah, there's nothing to do. So he's flew me all the way here for this. I've been pranked. He's getting revenge on me from Jaywick. So cheers for this, mate. I don't know why you don't like it. Isikul and Cholpanata is um, the premier resort of Central Asia. I, I like it. Premier. Premier in. Premier in. <laughs> Literally, the budget <laughs> experience. <laughs> anyway, I think we should go back to the capital, Bishkek. I'll show you what it's like there. It's awesome. And we'll stop along the way and rub some more mosaics. You up Ooh. for that? Yeah, tile hunting we go. More tile hunting. <laughs> Let's <it>. go. <laughs> Just another fact for you about Lake Issacal because it's behind me once again. It's so big, it covers like numerous towns here in Kyrgyzstan. It's huge. But here's another couple of facts for you. It's the seventh deepest lake in the entire world and also the second most transparent. Did you know that? No, but now you, you told me. I was on Wikipedia last night. <laughs> Couldn't sleep, so I was on Wikipedia. But there you go. More facts about Lake Issacal right behind me. And all this beauty, and it is very nice. Look at that. <laughs> so, Kat, first impressions of Kyrgyzstan. We've been here like three days now. Yeah. I don't know about you. I know this is a bit run down and, you know, not much going on. I love it here. I do like it. I have good food, nice air. Friendly people. Super friendly people. Even with language barrier. Yeah, they try. Yeah, they and try. so do we. So do we, yeah. We get the translator app out. And I like it. I enjoy it. Like, every day I wake up thinking today is going to be a good day. And so it is. true. I think it's going to be a, such a stressful time in <laughs> India. And we hit it hard. We've come here and every day is simple. It's easy. And yeah, so far so good. <laughs> the next country, bless you. The next country we go to could be a bit more extreme. Not many people go there, but yeah, we'll so see. far in Kyrgyzstan, 
We're both enjoying it. Yay! Bold's behind the wheel, the craziest driver I've ever met. What? We're giving Cat a rest. <laughs> We're back in the town of Balachi or something, which is the place where we were yesterday, where the man was taking a shit in that room. Listen, Kat, I know you were jealous. You didn't see the abandoned shit building yesterday. Now's your chance. Should we go in? Well, let's do it then. Yes, come on. It's impossible. Come on. There we go. The tour guide from yesterday is currently behind me. And Kat? You ready for a tour? No, I want to go. <laughs> Change, Change your plans. Mind. Privet! Hey! Right, enough of this. Let's get back to Bishkek. Let me show you one of the nicest cities I've seen here in Central Asia. Let's go. Guys, change of plan. We ran into a bit of a situation. Um, we returned the car back to the capital, Bishkek, and then we got scammed. $300 they wanted for apparently a scratch on the car. There was a bit of an altercation, a bit of an argument with the uh, rental services. And yeah, we have fled the country. We're now in a new country. We just crossed the land border. That's it, Kyrgyzstan's come to an end. You have to take my word for it. The capital is awesome, but I can't be showing you in this video, maybe in the future. See you later.